Right guys, the Range Rover Sport. Had a few of these. Aren't they good value for money now? Aren't they? Yes, brilliant value for money. And it's the same, a lot of, there was a lot of these things. Back in the day, we're all a little bit, ooh, you know, 2.7. I have I had absolutely no issues with any of mine. Um, so, I've still got the original sticker on there. Look, still got the original sticker on there. Um, yeah, no issues whatsoever with mine. Uh, got the night heater as well. You can't get that as an option. I just got a new one. You can't order that as an option anymore. That is an e a heater that you can set to come on to warm the car up for you in winter time. You can't do that now. All that you can get now is an automatic start system that starts the whole engine 15 minutes, 20 minutes before you go out. Not just the little heater there that used to work a treat. So apparently they've worked out it's, um, it's less carbon apparently to start a V6 or a straight six or a V8 than it is to start that little heater over there, apparently. Now I moved the car in last night. That just wants popping back on. Look, I'll do that when I get a minute, the famous minute. That just wants popping back on there. Uh, yeah, moved the car in last night. Started up, sounded well. No warning lights on the dash. Yeah, reminded me very much of my first one I had, which was black, exactly the same as this. They always have that fault. There's a fault on one of the bonnet catches. They look, uh, come up in a minute. Mine had it, they are bonnet open. There's a sensor on one of the catches, or both probably. I think it's just on one. And, uh, and mine used to always think that the bonnet was open even though it wasn't. And it's just a sensor on the catch, or it certainly has been in mine, and I've been told that that's a fairly common uh, fault uh, easily rectified on the um, on the on the sport. So I'll turn this rear wiper off. I, know, I can't remember. I've only had a few. I can't remember how you turn the women wiper off. Anyway, rear wiper's going at the moment. Oh, there you go. Got it. There you go. Got it. So you got 104,000 miles. Sounds sweet enough. Nice and clean inside. Oh, we've got a fridge as well. Whether it works or not now. Oh, yep, yeah, they are. It just kicked in. They are. Like, just come on. Yeah. Little things like that you struggle to get now. Bit of smooth radio, what more do you want? Agree on that. There you go, you've got your maps on there. Good spec car this. Nice and clean in there. When you think what they are now, the new Range Rover Sport, I think starts at about 100,000 now or thereabouts. Uh, oh look, we've got the original side vents and the original grille in the back there. Plus we've got the load cover, there you are. And the good thing about these is you can open just the window at the top on these, on the older Sport, or you can press the button there and you can open the whole caboodle. It's like a two-stage tailgate, which is nice. And let's have a quick look because they also they've done away with it on the on the late, later models. You also uh, they were built ready built with a tow bar. Uh, so beneath this cover there should be some electrics. Uh, and there's your tow bar. Basically, your tow bar shoves up there, so you can buy just the ball without uh, anything from sort of fifty to hundred pounds second hand and I haven't looked but there should I've never had one that hasn't but this could be the one that hasn't there should be your, your electrics behind there your tow bar goes up there and away you go they soon stop that and now you have to pay something in the region of a thousand or fifteen hundred pounds even more for the privilege of having a tow bar clean isn't it So yeah, sits nice, sounds well enough. Looks good value for money to me. No lip on the front brake discs there. So they're really, they're very old these discs. Look, these brakes, new on the back by the looks of things. What a lot of car, isn't it? For, in today's world, not a tremendous amount of money really. 
and I still like the shape. I like the old square slab sided shape. Let's face it, the defenders are only a slight tweak on that, aren't they? They're flat sided, squared off, aren't they, the defenders now? So there you go. Worth coming down and having a look at, guys, I think. So get yourself down. <laughs>